All right, fellas, welcome back to another episode of Very Important News. This is the series where we talk about the most pressing issues of the recent times. I will link the playlist below. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications, blah, 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 so you can be a part of the buzz every single time a new video goes live. And last but not least, watch the entire video. Don't be a bitch. Now, fellas, I got to say right now, 2020 has been off to an absolutely fantastic start, right? We got... Rappers killing their own mothers for insurance money. We've got moms and daughters starting OnlyFans accounts together, and we got no shortage of simps out in the world. We know that. But I would have to agree, even after seeing all of this crazy stuff, I would have to say that nothing's really totally crossed the line yet, right? I mean, these things are bad, but they're they're kind of reasonable, you know, they're believable. Maybe some are worse than others, but there's nothing that's not totally, like, completely unforgivable, right? Well, you can kiss that goodbye. You can throw it out the window right now, because what we're about to talk about here today is just something that I have no words for, and I don't think you're gonna have any words for either. Now, fellas, I do want to warn you before we get into this video, this is definitely a not safe for work video. It's a not safe for school video. It's a not safe for public listening video. If you are below the age of 18, you better click off this goddamn video right now, bro. Okay, I'm not trying to get in trouble on YouTube here. So there is your disclaimer. And if you are in public, I would highly advise putting in headphones or AirPods or whatever you have right now, because I don't want to end up getting you kicked out of whatever public place you might be in. Now, this comes courtesy of Slate. And if you guys aren't familiar with Slate, Slate is just... What's the best way to put this here? Slate is about the most garbage of a publication that you could have. It's an awful website filled with normie clickbait and hot takes that are designed to get people mad, designed to make people feel offended, all for the purpose of generating buzz, right? Some of their masterpieces include things such as more women should propose to their boyfriends or a 23-year-old virgin wonders if it's all because he's too nice, as well as should men pay a dick pic tax? You see what I'm trying to say when I call it normie garbage clickbait? That's all that this website is. It's just a trash website. However, today I saw something that's low quality bait even for Slate and that headline would be, oh god, I can't even say this. Okay, here we go. Ready? The headline is, my wife wants us to have sex with her brother. I'm not opposed in principle. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Fellas, honestly, what on God's green earth is this world coming to? This is not even, like, this is stuff that you would see on, like, the dark web or something like that. Like, it's just not even in the realm of being a normal person. But I guess, you know, if I did have to take a guess at which regular non-dark web, like, what normal website this headline appeared on, I would probably go with Slate. Now, this appears on a section of Slate called How to Do It, and it's basically where... People will write in and they'll give you a scenario or a problem they're having and get the advice of other fucking weirdos that are on Slate answering questions for strangers on the internet. Picture it kind of like Reddit, I guess, only for bigger losers and freaks if that's possible. Now here we go, fellas. Here's what this anonymous user writes. Ready? Dear how to do it. My wife and I have been in an open marriage for five years. On the whole, our relationship has been uncommonly open and supportive. We both strive to encourage one another to explore and even playfully push the limits romantically and sexually. Okay, so far so good, right? Now really wrong with that. Here's where shit starts to get fucking weird. Ready? For as long as I've known her, my wife has been interested in incest role play. While it isn't my cup of tea exactly, I have been willing and happy to support her in exploration of this kind of fantasy and role play. Often she will have me dress up as her father, wear his cologne, etc. while she will wear high school clothes. Man, what the fuck kind of shit is this? Like, what is he dressing up as, right? Is he just putting on like a, a pair of white New Balances with white high socks, some jean shorts, a tucked in tee shirt and like a goofy ass fish hat. I mean, that's what most dads dress up like, right? This is sick, fellas. This is really, really sick. Like it's one thing to want to have you dress up like a dad. Okay. I can maybe, maybe understand that, but to have you dress up like your own dad, like how does that work? Did she like steal his clothes? I don't understand. Well, actually maybe they do steal his yeah. clothes because it says here that she likes him to wear his cologne. So did they go into their house when they go over there to visit and say hi? And they're just like shoveling clothes and cologne into bags and sneaking them out the front door. Her poor father, man. I hope he's not a reader of Slate, right? You know, imagine being him and reading this and being like, wait a second. Last time my daughter and son-in-law came over, I was missing clothes and cologne after. What the fuck? So, so far, the information we have, I would call it pretty weird, okay? It's not like unforgivable, but, but it's definitely starting to cross the line. Here's the part where it actually does cross the line. 
here we go. Okay. Recently, though, things have started to move in an uncomfortable direction for me. My wife is very close with her older brother, who is also bi and with whom we often speak very openly about sex and sexuality. A few nights ago, and after a few drinks, my wife got to talking fairly explicitly about some of the family role-playing that she and I are into, and her brother, who I thought would be kind of horrified, was not only entirely supportive, but vaguely expressed interest in exploring this kink with us. When we got home, I expected my wife to make it clear that her brother ever joining us in the bedroom was entirely off the table, but instead, oh my god, I can't even read this, but instead, she seemed to think it was a really good idea. In principle, I don't have a problem with the idea. Well, like I said, I am not that into the incest element of my wife's, and I guess her brother's, fantasy. I am happy to play along if it makes her and him happy. My wife and I have also enjoyed group sex, and so that isn't the problem either. I guess at the bottom, I am just worried about how this could affect my relationship with my brother-in-law. Is there a way for me to make this happen without it getting weird? Uh, no. No, there is not, brother's keeper. There's... There's definitely not a way for you to bang your wife and her brother at the same time without it getting weird. In fact, I think that the fact that you even took the time to type this out and you're probably very, very careful with your choice of words, which let's face it, there's no real good way to put this. There's no right choice of words, right? But the fact that you took the time to even type this out and thank God it was anonymous, but still, man, you and your wife and your wife's brother should probably get some help like ASAP. Like I'm pretty sure that this is illegal in most places. Am I wrong? I'm calling the fucking cops, bro. <laughs> what, 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 what county did this take place in? I'm getting that local police department on the line right now. This is insane. It's like, my man, you have, you guys have seen one too many fake videos on the hub. Okay. When you see like brother and sister bang or whatever in the title in those videos, it's not real. It's not a real thing. Same with like daughter bangs dad and stepdad and like whatever else you might see. It's just to play up in people's imaginations, man. You're not actually supposed to do this stuff. Now just knocking the jokes off for, for a second here. Let's let's really talk about this for a moment, right? So I think open marriages are generally a really, really bad idea, okay? If you're a younger dude out there, you might be like, nah, bro, that sounds fucking awesome, bro. You can fuck whatever bitches you want, blah, blah. I mean, yes, I understand where you're coming from, okay? When I was 19, I thought the same thing, but I can tell you now as a guy who is happily married and getting close to his 30s, no, definitely not an option that's on the table, okay? That is just like a recipe to destroy your marriage right there. Because after a while, it's just like, if there's no limits to whatever you're gonna do, then where can you even draw your own limit, right? And that's exactly what this guy is facing right now. Like his whole marriage up to this point has just been like, yeah, we'll both just do whatever we want. We'll just both bang whoever we want. We'll pretend that you're my my dad or whatever. And that's all fun and games until something like serious comes up and you start blurring the lines between like fantasy and reality. Also, I mean, needless to say, but like, dude, I'm just imagining right now what my reaction would be to me if my wife said this to me. I don't think I could ever look at her the same again. Like, you wanna... You wanna fuck your own brother? And you want me to do it too? What? Nah, dudes, nah. I'm all good with that, man. This this marriage is gonna end real quick if that's ever brought to the table. And I feel like a similar fate is about to happen to this guy that wrote in to the geniuses over that slate. Speaking of which, I'm happy to report that the person that actually answered him, because like I said, it's a thing where you write in for advice to strangers, but the one response he did get told him not to do it and then it's gonna fuck up his whole life. Not to mention make for some very awkward Thanksgiving dinner table conversations. So, I don't know. At least we have that to fall back on, man. Like, at least there's someone out there that's replying to things on Slate that is not quite as big of a basement-dwelling fucking loser sitting down there in his parents' basement jerking off to the idea of this, right? Anyway, fellas, I think that's about enough dumbasses on the internet for today. I will never cease to be amazed at the things that we find here on the internet, but you guys be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What are you going to be doing if your wife says this to you? Let's hear it. And also, like, do you think he actually did it? Do you think he went through with it? I don't know. I, I hope not. I hope not. I mean, the guy that answered to him said not to do it, but I don't know. The man's just trying to be a, a good husband and please his wife, so who knows if he actually gave into it or not. I pray that answer is a no, but who knows, man. There are just, there's there's too many weirdos out there in the world, and, and worse things have definitely happened that we just don't know about, and we're better off not knowing about them. Anyway, fellas, that is it. I am out. I'm praying for this man. I'm praying for his wife. I'm praying for his brother-in-law. 
just praying for all of them, man. I'm praying for her father, wherever he is, okay? That's it. Hopefully, it was a happy ending and, well, well, not that kind of happy ending. Okay, I'm done. If you guys enjoyed the video, then do not forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome, amazing content just like this. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Links are both down below. And I will see you dudes in the next video. Love you. Bye. Yeah.